everyone. Hey, Ronnie. How are y'all doing? All right. How you doing? Good, sir. Larry, where are you from at the Outer Bank? Southern Shores on the Outer Banks in North Carolina. Where are the Outer Banks? It's on the, it's on the Outer Banks of North Carolina. It's out on the coast, out in the ocean a little bit. About well, I know where it is. I've been there a bunch of times. Oh, good. Had some friends who used to live right uh, behind Seacrest Golf Course. Yep, that's up in Kitty Hawk. What's no. Eddie doing tonight? Hiding? <laughs> I'm getting paid more. Oh, there you are. Good evening, gentlemen and others. <laughs> How you doing, sir? All right. Okay. You're on. Hello. Hello there. Hey, Good morning, all. Good morning, Mark. Well, hey. I made it. My wife got me onto Zoom, so uh, uh, I, I'm 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 there for the for the sake of of just being there, I guess. <laughs> Glad to see you. Australia checking in there, Ronnie. How about that? That's Big Don down there. Hey, good morning, all. Good morning or good evening, whatever side you're on. I didn't hear it would rain because it rained earlier and it and it cleared up here. Mark, you changed your name? I changed my name. I'm on my wife's computer. There you go. <laughs> Oh, and who runs a place, don't we? I've never been on a Zoom meeting before. Oh, you're going to like it. You're going to like it. Well, Eddie, how did you, uh, uh, what was the uh, uh, behind the scenes effort to make this uh, worldwide wood turners? I sat at, um, I sat at SWAT last summer um, and Day, all four days, I sat with an old friend of mine, and people kept coming up and asking questions that I thought they should just either know the answer to or know where to go get the answers to. And then it dawned to me that if they didn't belong to a club or an organization or something like that, they had no place to go for the answers. So I got with about 10 friends, and most of them are right here on the board and said, what can we do? And this is what we came up with. We had to put some rules on it. And I'm li I like the rules we have on it. And sometimes it makes it a little bit difficult, but then you gotta remember why they're there. They're for all of us. So it's, uh, it's been fun. It's been a very interesting nine months. Well, I'll tell you what, I think it's a great idea. And, uh, and I told you, you know, in that phone conversation, you and Ronnie, I mean, I'll be happy to support your efforts and, uh, and do what I can do right, to help make this a very, very wonderful thing so that everybody in every corner of the earth, as you say, there's a lot of wood turners that, that aren't active members of clubs, but still might be interested. Yeah, and, and I mean, today I heard, you know, you know this name, Rick Goche. He's out, he's out of Texas. Um, Rick sent me photographs from projects or gizmos he's built for his shop to go along with his big mustard colored light. Um, and I gotta be careful with that because last week I called one of those mustard colored lights at one way in an article. Uh, but he, he sent me photographs. I like his ideas. Now I got ideas for tool rest off my, on my machine by a similar thing, watching somebody develop something that I can adapt to my needs. I'm going to show you those later on. We have a gallery, uh, some tips on getting your photographs to us for a gallery, and then some projects that guys like you are sending in. It's going to be a fun evening. It is. Hello, Ron Radliff. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing just peachy. How are you? I'm all righty, sir. Good to see you here this evening. 
Uh, who's who's talking? I got I got to switch my views here. All right, now I think I can see it better. If you say something, your face is supposed to pop up. So everybody got quiet. What the hell did I do? Mark, are you still getting out in the shop at four a.m.? Yeah, I was out at three o one this morning. <laughs> I've, I've got a big. Pro I'm on a big project though. I've, I'm uh, I'm working on three fifty three inch tall chandeliers. Oh goodness. Yep. So the sun don't rise till noon time for you, huh? No, I, I usually come in about seven thirty. I have a little breakfast or something, and uh, you know, then then I work sporadically because I get phone calls, and uh, you know, I have to take a little old geezer's nap every now and then. But I'm go. hanging in there. I, I'm telling my my. I'm starting to feel my age a little bit. Oh, you're still a young man. I got to give a shout out to Bob Moffat. Yeah. I've seen him in a while. He's a, he, he's a pretty good old turkey. Boy, flattery will get you everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you just lost all your credibility, Mark. Hey, Johnny. I see Johnny Hughes. He's down there. Where my, he's close to my son. Yeah. How you, you doing, know, Johnny? I'm good. How are you? Hanging in there, man. That's all you can do sometimes. Yeah. Well, that's good. You need to come down and see us. Yeah. Well, little Maddox, uh, he turned eight last Thursday, so uh, uh, he got he got to go with uh, Steve's friend Dan. So Steve let him go on the sailboat. They're sailing across the Gulf of Mexico down to Key West and the Dry Tortugas. I guess they're going to be uh, gone about a week and a half. So that's a big adventure for Maddox. Eight years. Oh, yeah, that is. That's a big adventure for anybody. <laughs> yeah, that is. I've done that a few times. Mark, you, yes, sir. I don't know if I've been outed, but you need to co host me or, or, or either that or I'm outed. I'm, I'm, well, we didn't want to talk about that, Ronnie, but okay. <laughs> I didn't get my official letter I yet. I couldn't find your picture just now. You're on the list. There you go. Oh, hey, uh, Ronnie, thanks for those pictures uh, because I did have, I did insure the package. So I, I sent your stuff today. It's already gone. But uh, I, I appreciate the pictures. When I put my claim in, that'll substantiate it. Good. I really felt bad about that, you know, but it's, well, that package was torn up. Yeah, uh -huh. like a bulldog got it or something. And and the thing is, when they fall out, they probably don't know which box it came from, you know. Yeah, what, what they probably don't even know what it is, you know. Right, right. Appreciate you taking care of that. Thank you very much. Problem. Oh, I. Uh, I'll put your envelope in the mail too, okay? I'm, I'm not worried about it. Well, I am. <laughs> folks, we've, we've signed on a couple of new co-hosts this week, and that's just folks that normally provide a little more invitation and <clears throat> information, or to jump on board really quick, and that includes uh, Dane Chandler, you think he's out of Tucson. Uh, Ronnie's there. I haven't heard from Doug Rowe, but he's out saving our country right now. Steve is with us, John Hughes, and a few others. These are all folks that just jump on the bandwagon, and you can too. You gotta, you gotta keep this in mind. It's only been like six, seven minutes. We're up about 50 people playing in the game tonight. We're going to do a lot because this is kind of flexible time. This is when I want to see any additional galleries, any ideas, tips, hints, problems, complaints, suggestions. Uh, I don't hear about the wife, but I hear about the church. So let's let's go. If you talk, it'll go there. Oh. 
Got nobody talking? Nobody yeah. got word. I want to ask Donald Masterson where in Australia he is. I'm down not far from Melbourne in, in Lara. Where, not, Don, where is that? Uh, um, North South. In the, the, the south of Victoria. Okay. Beautiful piece of country. Yeah. Just outside the, the, the second lockdown zone. Outside the second. The second lockdown zone? Yeah, we've had a second outbreak in, in parts of Victoria and uh, they've locked down again. You know, we're, we're, uh, we're experiencing that in the New Orleans area. The mayor came back and said, enough is enough. And uh, they're going back to locking down uh, restaurants and ballrooms and all that a little bit tighter. It's amazing. We're all being Americans. We're kind of fed up with this program, and we decided enough is enough. I'm going to get out and do this. I'm going to get out and do that. And uh, it's amazing how many times my wife gets invited to go to lunch, a party, a reception, a birthday function, um, all these things. And it's by her family or her friends that believe you're not going to get it. Well, we can all get it. And the bad news is, if I get it, I might pass it down to my grandkids or my great-grandkids. Or they might bump it on up to me. So, yeah. it's, 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 not a, it's not a control. We have to control it. Pardon me. But it, it's easy to control by, by, you know, social distancing. But people get in a bar and they all crunch up and you've got no choice. Yep, that's that's true. And then you, you um, I be careful what I say on this because I get in trouble real easy. <laughs> <laughs> We're not handling it very well in the UK, either, Eddie. <laughs> Larry Lawton from OBX. Larry, what is OBX? Out of the banks of North Carolina. Out of banks of where? North Carolina. North. Oh, that's right. They were talking to you earlier. Yeah. Hey, guess what? There's a hurricane coming your way. Yeah, we're going. We're going to send down your way to go. Oh, okay. Don't send it south. We don't. We don't want it. Uh, somebody today said, "How did? What do I think about the Mardi Gras? I mean, a Halloween season. I say it's great. They they go and fish everywhere, but here." We only got like two inches of rain out of the last one. Uh oh, and knock on wood for that one. I'm not supposed to say that. Uh, we got some things coming up on the agenda tonight, um, and the agenda is in your invite or basic part of your invite that I sent out to you on Monday and Tuesday. And I've had at least 50 wood turners email me today wanting to get on board. And when you do want to get on board. I put you in the contacts list to get the next invite, but I also invite you directly right then and there. I will send you the invite sheet, tells you all about the meetings and the contacts and all. Um, and when I can, I'll put the live link button that you can just press that button and go right to it. Um, because we're trying to grow this, really we are. It's, it's, uh, it's more than just the thing. Um, we we want to get more people involved, more input, more feedback. Because uh, I tell you, I don't believe, I don't believe you're all sharing the information you have. Really, I, I want to get it all. And show you that by some folks that sent gallery items in. We put out a newsletter on Monday or Tuesday uh, that had probably 20 photographs from last month. I have that many this month already that day and it's a it's a plug if you want to show the people the best woodworking in the world and this is like selling insurance if you want to sell show people the best wood turning in the world what would you show them oh, it's easy and there's no second rate and third rate and the expert and all that 
in your heart, if you think it's good, it's good. That's all that counts. That's so we want to see a picture of your work. And we do not do a critique. Remember the rule. I can hold it up and say this is nice, but I can't say this is nice, but. <laughs> no buts. It's nice. Okay. Um, I can pop this thing on gallery view if you like, folks. Um, speaker view, gallery view, whatever we're going to do. <gasps> oh, whoa. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, anybody got a ga ga gallery items they want to show up tonight? <laughs> Hot as heck out there, y'all. Got to be out there uh, turning wood, or at least in the air conditioner. No turning, Jason? Oh, no, sorry, Jason. Here, Jason. Yeah, I'm here. Okay, no turn. You're shaking your head when I said turning. You're not turning this week? Hey, Eddie? Yeah. This, this is Gordon. I got a, I discovered boxes. He's working on a pen. Okay. Gordon's in there. I'm going to pop this That's back. That's all right. Go, stay with him. All right, Gordon. Oh, go ahead. I was just going to say I discovered boxes. This, I made this box today. All right. A, so I'm on the web chat now. And it's a mesquite box. And I just got I made right, a box. Babe. Talk to you later. And I made another box. And I made another box. It was kind of fun to put it all together. Wait, wait, back that up again. I, I I couldn't get your image up right. Show me the boxes again, will you? Oh, okay. This is a, a stack boxes. That's almost it's cheap. Got a, this one, and I decided one wasn't enough, so I made two, and I decided I'd go with three. And what's the wood? Mesquite. Nice, nice. A lot of fun, though. Yeah, it is a lot of fun, and no matter what you do, it's your best, and people love it. So, all right. And somebody else got something to show up tonight? Uh, we are doing that and showing off all the work. Ideas. You know, I never thought about a stackable box. That's a nifty idea. And suppose you change woods as you go. Wouldn't That's that be cool? Idea. Yeah. I mean, I'd, I'd have a hard time giving up any wood right now, but hey, some guy... Well, I, I like this because I can make it out of one piece. Oh, yeah. It was all one piece of wood. When you chucked up and spin it, it's just a matter of shaping, huh? Yep. Good. 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 Um, yeah, when you start changing woods, eh, I got I to retract a little bit. Don't do that frivolously or without thinking about it because if this wood is this dense and this wood is this dense, and you put them together, you may never get them apart. So if you can rough them in and let them set for a while in a bag of sawdust or chips or shavings, let them thaw out a little, uh, uh, dry out a little bit better, you'll have a better when, time when you fit them together. And remember, fruit woods don't like any other woods. Other woods don't like fruit woods. So anybody else at the gallery tonight, say it. Well, I can go down and get something off of my table that's a, that's a new, uh... Uh, I don't know, something happened here to my Zoom. I got you. We got you. Well, I can't see anything. Anyway, it just says Zoom. And I can go down and, and get something off my table. I've got a new little series of, uh, I'm making a vinegar cruets. That'd be great. I'd like to see it. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll go down. Something happened to my screen here. I don't know what's what's going on. Uh, you got to bring your wife back, huh? Yeah. She, <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's Mark Soleil joining us this evening, folks. Uh, uh, we invited grab... Mark, Mark. You back? No, all I've got is a blank screen here. I hit something and. Okay. I don't know. I'll I'll find her. Okay. Just so I'll be back. I'll be back. Hi, Eddie. Bob Pacini here. Um, Bob Pacini, I see, I got you, man. How you doing? I'm doing fine, thank you. Last uh, time, uh, everybody was talking about uh, doing. Um, uh, prefigured bowls from a cube, and uh, this is a piece that I made out of a three-figure, a three-pointed piece. It's walnut put on a 
base that is butternut. And then I have a sphere that is turned uh, out of uh, African, or excuse me, Australian uh, brown uh, marley. And it is a nightlight. So that when I plug it in, I have a LED display underneath the, the triangular piece here in the base. And it lights the sphere up as a nightlight. Oh, cool. Cool, yeah. It's nice. Well, good use of resin there, too. That's, 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 that's attractive. This is a uh, oak platter that I did. I dyed the rim purple. Okay. I used well, lime and wax on it. And losing. You got to say whatever you're doing again, because I got, oh, that's Bob Moffat. All right. Yeah. All right. This is okay. a uh, oak, oak platter that I did. I dyed the rim purple and used uh, lime and wax on it. They put a little medallion with texture in the middle. That's nice. I put uh, texturing on the back. Okay, you spelled my name wrong. <laughs> <laughs> re re redo, redo that and put my name on it properly. <laughs> That's okay. People spell my name wrong all the time. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's a pretty piece. It really is. Nice to get into colors. Last week we spoke about that a little bit, some, about some tips about resins and all this. And uh, we had Kim join us. And I'm hoping Kim comes back in tonight because uh, she's got a great look on this. She's got the artist look on it. And that's, that's all I can say about it. Uh, Mark, I think you're back again with us. Uh, well, hang on just a minute. Uh, uh, let me get this here. Uh, yeah, number here somewhere. All I've got is a blank screen in front of me. Okay. Well, we see you. Oh, you can see me? Yes, sir, we do. I can't see you. I've I'll got see a, you. a I'm not seeing Mark. screen here. Still seeing Bob. Go on, Bob. I don't know who it is. I'm trying to get Mark back. Huh? I keep uh, hang hang on just a minute. We'll... There you are, Mark. There you are. Yeah, but but I don't have anything on my screen. Okay, we'll come back to you. Just give me a yeah, wait. Yeah, you yeah, can all see this... you, Mark. Get this squared away here. Okay. And we're gonna go back to the regular. Well, I got. We can see you now. Oh, it... no, but I can't see you. <laughs> So you won't know what he's showing us. Y'all know how it is. You have a screen, and sometimes your stuff is up over here, down over there, and you know, um, it's a, that third eye you can't adjust. Uh, give me that meeting number. It was two two eight something. Two two eight five one six. Two two eight five one six four eight one one. Four eight one one. No password required. Okay, anybody else? Come on, guys. I've got something for you, Eddie. I've got some stuff, Eddie, but I'll go Run. over stuff that I have during the uh, dying demo. Okay, hey, you sent me a piece today about writ dye. Yes, sir. Boy, we're going to talk about it in a little while because I got to looking and thinking about that, and I did a little cross search in, in Google and, uh, and what's that other one? Pinterest. And I found a ton of stuff colored with Brit dye and some really wild colors. Yeah. It is. It's a good idea. Yeah, some good I, stuff. I got nothing else to do but sweat. So I'm, I'm, I'm in there pretty regular every day. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I wasn't able to do everything that I wanted to. I've been, I've been dabbling with metal work for the last two weeks. And so I had to clean everything off just to just to bring out some of my colored dyed pieces that I still have, have on hand that, that didn't sell, that my wife wouldn't let go. Um, so I've got a couple pieces and then we'll do some more on a piece of wood and see how it does. We'll get there. Let's keep it around here. 
Yeah, I know the feeling. I, my wife redid is redoing. She's feeling better, so now she's got to move furniture. It's this thing that goes on. Um, but yesterday she reworked the some shelves in the kitchen and, and put my wood on a top shelf. And I said, why is that? And she says, so neither one of us can reach it and give it away. Right. Yeah, I had to go digging in the shrunk to find find the stuff. You know, my wife was like, "Well, I've put you know the majority of them up. That you know, you know, got to go in the living room and, and find them in the shrunk." So, so right. dug a few out. Okay, Mark, I think we're back with you again. I'm going to try one more time here, buddy. Well, let's uh, give me that number one more time. It's two two eight. What I'm going to write it down this time. Two two eight five one six four eight one one. Eddie, Jason Collett has his hand up. He'd like to speak, I think. Jason, say something, Bob. Oh, I'm just waiting my turn. <laughs> well, Jason, it's your turn. Well, uh, let's see. Flip this around. So I don't know if you can see all those, but those will be heading your way here shortly. As soon as I finish off the rest of the pin kits I have. So... <laughs> And that's just another little jar lid I made. So, <laughs> gotta give me a wife second. wanted a small for some jar. For some reason, oh. everything, all, all the mics are open. I'm getting a little feedback. So, I'm having a little problem funny. I have it for speaker view as if we've been disrupted. Uh, uh, Jason, is that you from New Jersey? <laughs> that's John. Uh, he goes. I'm Colorado. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. We see you now, Jason. All right. Well, those those will be heading Eddie's way here pretty soon. So I got, oh, I think I got like six more pin kits right now. And once I finish those off, I'll be putting them in the mail. <laughs> wow. And those are freedom pens. Yep. That's Good nice. job. I figure I'd share that little guy. It's just a little jar with a lid. What's the jar? A mason jar? Yeah, just a little shorty. But I don't know the. I don't think the proportions are quite right. But not bad for a first try. No, you know you got to keep going at it. Oh yeah. Maybe maybe Anytime the jar I can get out in my shop, I do. Maybe it's just a jar, Jason. That could be it too. Maybe I just. Need